Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 26 November 2020. Happy and blessed Thanksgiving to you all. Alright, if you're all full of turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, pumpkin pie, and you're struggling to stay awake, I'll try to keep it lively tonight. Because boys, you got some Christmas shopping to do. <laughs> you got some Christmas shopping to do. Oh yeah. We have 33 sale items for your consideration. 32 of them are knives. I'm sorry, 31 of them are knives. And two of them are some pretty cool belts and buckles from the Western United States. Tonight is <laughs> wheelhouse night, baby. We got Great Eastern Cutlery, we got ZT, we got Benchmade, we got Spyderco, we got Handerer. And a nice little leftover tops. And before we get into the inventory, a little bit of housekeeping for you. If you are new to this weekly sales event and you don't know how it works, I need you to be familiar with the terms of the sale. I'm going to post them on the screen for you in just a moment. They'll also be reprinted in the description underneath this video so you can peruse them at your leisure. Above the terms of the sale in the description, you'll find three links to previous videos. The first one, if you are a new buyer, will be of great pertinence to you. It is called a primer for buyers. It's a 38 minute explanation of how we do things and why on this weekly sales event. The second link is to my FAQs for consigners video if you're interested in moving some of your collection along and want to know how that works. That video explains it all. Then the third link as always is to my rates and services video for the Apostle P knife service. The original precision sharpening service for the online knife community. And this would be a good time to send some stuff in, guys. It's a little bit barren right now. Every year it gets that way during the holidays. And then I get swapped right after New Year's. So if you need some knife sharpen, now is the time. Okay, you got those three links. Then the terms of the sale in the description. Below all that, you're going to find... The list of inventory for this week, complete with timestamps and pricing. The number to the left of the slash in the price column is your as shown price. Number to the right, your as sharpened price. This week, you're going to notice a whole lot of blank second numbers because a lot of these knives already have my edges on them and they are pristine. Okay, I think that is about it for housekeeping. Oh, Next day sharpening. Yes, I will be sharpening the day after Thanksgiving. If you do buy a knife sharpened, it'll ship if you're among the first six with the as-is inventory this week. All right, time to get you the terms up on the screen, and we'll be right back with the sale. Here are the terms. All right, let's get to it, shall we? You're not going to believe this, but we had a 36 knife sale last week, and we only got one leftover, and here it is. You see a nice poly bag with a Topps Knives Incorporated Certificate of Manufacture and Authenticity. The knife that came inside it is right here. That gorgeous Topps Kydex with that spinny clip. I just love that. Inside it resides the Topps Cockpit Commander. I think this is a purpose designed flight knife. Uh, fairly short blade, just two and a quarter inches of 1095. That's measured to about there. Then a four and a half inch handle including the big round hole. Now why would you have that in a flight knife? Well imagine guys, you are a pilot you are hanging in a treetop by your parachute and its tethers 
and you got one chance to cut yourself down. You don't want to drop the knife. Pretty cool. Sharpened swedge on this one. Not not super acute, but it is sharp. 1095 steel crinkle coat, epoxy coated gray linen micarta. Are the handle scales with white liners. Very squared away little blade. <clears throat> These are right now on sale at Blade HQ, lower than their normal price. They're 95 bucks. We ran this one last week for 80, and it's like new in baggy. Didn't sell it at 80. We dropped it to 60 on Saturday. Still no takers. Somebody gets this this week for 50 bucks. Five zero, like it is. Seventy dollars with an Apostle P Edge. There will be no price drop, and frankly, guys, there shouldn't be <clears throat> at that price. So don't look for this one to come down any on Saturday. If it doesn't sell for 50, the owner's going to have me sharpen it and send it back to him. So 50 like it is, 70 sharpened on the Topps Cockpit Commander. Next up, we have a little run of a dozen knives from a little company in Titusville, PA, known as Great Eastern Cutlery. Yes, we do. First up, from the Tidiute Cutlery line. We have a number 14 Lick Creek Boys Knife. There is its father, its proud papa, Lyle Fry, when he was a boy. Model number is 142216. This one in Knife Bright Acrylic. And it does come with Lyle's Lick Creek Introduction Note in the tube. And here is the knife. The glow in the dark knife bright acrylic. I'm not going to do a loom shot. If you guys are shopping for this knife, you already know what it looks like. So all steel construction on the 14 boys knife. This one's got the spear main with long pull and cut swedge. The pen secondary. What a cute little pen blade. Let's see. Pull weight on this is about a six. Walk and talk are perfect. Both blades split in the middle. Condition on this one is absolutely like new in the tube. I was trying to do a price reference for this knife. Good luck finding one. I did see a similar condition single spear in the completed listings on eBay that sold for $170. This one, how about a buck and a half? $150. And then 175 for me to sharpen both blades. And be careful on your, I'll take it on these 14s because we have four of them. This is in your inventory as GEC Tidute number 14 Lick Creek Knife Bright. Next up, it is another one from Tidute Cutlery. It is another Lyle Fry. Lit Creek Boys Knife, model number 142216. This one, an antique yellow jigged bone. Comes with the Irish Setter tube note. Just look at that little beauty. Gorgeous antique yellow jig bone. All steel constructions, liners and bolsters, spear main, long pull, cut swedge, satin finish, no etch, pen secondary, pull weight on this one, I'm going to call a seven, strong little pull, beautiful walk and talk, perfect blade centering, condition like new in tube with note your price 130 130 and that is in your inventory be careful because we got four of these this is in your inventory as GEC Tidute number 14 Lick Creek AYJB for antique yellow jig bone AYJB 130 like it is 155 with both blades sharp and next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six Next up, our third GEC and our third number 14 Lick Creek Boys Knife. 
There's Lyle Fry in his boyhood back in Lick Creek, West Virginia. Model number is 142116 in autumn gold jig bone. This is going to be in your inventory as GEC Lick Creek, I'm sorry, Titty Ute, number 14 Lick Creek A G J B for autumn gold jig bone. This has that beautiful jigging, the all steel construction, liners and bolsters from steel. Single spear on this one. Long pull cut swedge. Pull weight is about six and a half. Walk and talk and centering are beautiful. Condition like new in the tube. Your price on this one, 130, 130. 145 with an Apostle P edge and next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened this week. It's in your inventory as GEC Titty number 14 Lick Creek AGJB. Please include that in your I'll Take It. Next up, it's our fourth Great Eastern Cutlery offering. It is our fourth Lick Creek Boys Knife from Lyle Fry. This one, model number 142116 in rust red jig bone. Comes with the tube note, The Snake by Lyle Fry. And here is the knife. Look at that rust red jig bone. Beautiful covers. Whoa, that's got a little bit of darkness back there. All steel constructions, blade, back spring, liners, and bolsters, all steel. There's your single spear blade, long pull cut swedge, satin finish, no etch. Seven pull on this one. Whoops. Perfect walk, perfect talk, perfect centering condition, like new in the tube, with note. Your price, 130 130 145 with an Apostle P Edge next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. This one's in your inventory as GEC Titty number 14 Lick Creek RRJB for Rust Red Jig Bone. Please include that in your I'll Take It. Mm -mm -mm. Next up, oh my, this is the part in the video where I ask you to save me from myself <clears throat> from Great Eastern Cutlery the practical knives division of Great Eastern Cutlery GEC what's the difference about the GEC brand 440C baby <clears throat> stainless steel this is the number 151116 in burnt orange jig bone so it's a 15 boys knife, trimmed out like a Northfield, right? Polished bolsters, nickel silver variety, double lined with the acorn shield. That beautiful sort of worm groove style jigging on that burnt orange jig bone. We got a single clip point blade with that goldish practical knives GEC etch. A stunning clip point. A strong seven pull. Perfect walk and talk. Centering right down the middle. Like new in tube. Your price, this might be too cheap, guys. They just don't become available very often. <clears throat> you could call it unobtainium. But your price, I think, is kind of inexpensive. And you better buy it quick or I will. 160, 160 like it is, 175 with an Apostle P Edge next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's in your inventory as GEC Acorn, number 15, Boys Knife. Next up, we're rolling along with the GEC sale tonight. From the Titty Ute Cutlery line, I see... A dog, I see a beagle. Yep, this is a number 18 beagle, model number 182216 in red linen micarta. 
and it comes with the Titty Beagle button. The 18 is a diminutive dogleg jack with smooth nickel silver bolsters and end caps, a hound's tooth shield, brass liners. The blade set is going to be a spear main. Set and finished drawn swedge. The secondary is a coping blade. Pull weight on this one, a six. Walk and talk is perfect. Centering is perfect. Condition, like new in the tube, with button. Your price, $110. $110 like it is $135 with the possible P edges on both of those blades. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six. That's in your inventory as GEC Tidiute, number 18, Beagle. Next up, time for some special stuff. Uh huh. From the Northfield Unexcelled Premium Pocket Knives Division of GEC and Yellow Rose Classic Pocket Knives, we have a number 74 stallion or a yellow rose. No, nope, it's a model number 748117 in smooth yellow rose bone. Comes with the button and here's the knife I'm kind of partial to the 74 stallion uh-huh look at that you got your rose shield your triple line polished nickel silver bolsters brass liners gorgeous bone covers the beautiful long muskrat clip blade with the cut swedge and the nail neck the yellow rose etch Guys, that's kind of a beefer when it comes to pull weight. And some of you know, the 74 has kind of what I call a two-stage pull. The first leg is about a seven, but that second leg, a strong seven and a half, which holds it firmly open. Centering on the yellow rose is beautiful. I'm going to call this near mint and tube from just some storage, very light storage scuffs on those bolsters. They polish out in a heartbeat if you wanted to. Uh, these do not come cheap, my friends. I found two completed listings on eBay. Are you sitting down? For $355 and $435. That sounds like a lot to me. Your price on this one, $225. 225 and then 240 with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. It's in your inventory is GEC Northfield number 74 yellow rose. Next up, what's that? You like the 74, but you don't want to spend well over $200 for one? Well, how about this? From the Tidiute handcrafted cutlery product line of Great Eastern. You have a number 748117 stallion in Gabon ebony wood. Yep. Smooth nickel silver bolster bear and hot dog shield. Some cool figuring in that Gabon ebony. You have your muskrat clip blade with a drawn swedge and a nail neck. What a beauty. That's got some authority. That's a seven and a half pole right there, guys. Great walk and talk, beautiful centering condition. Is like new in the tube. Um, I tried to find a price reference for this knife. It's unobtainium. There are none for sale or recently sold that I could find. Your price on this one? 175 like new in the tube a perfect example 190 if you'd like it with an apostle p edge it's the gec gec Tidiute number 74 stallion next up this one breaks my heart boys it breaks my heart why because one of my consigners 
is selling one of my knives. Oh. They don't come available very often. From the Great Eastern Cutlery Northfield Premium Pocket Knives Collection. It is a number 748117 in Gabon Ebony, but it just happens to be a Heartland clip. Designed by that guy. Huh. So this is essentially a 74 stallion with a corset shield, a triple line bolster. A cut swedge. I forgot to wipe it off. How could I forget to wipe it off? I need to wipe it off. My consigner takes very good care of his stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Satin finish, no etch. Satin finish, no etch, Northfield. Pull is a seven. Maybe a 70, uh, seven and a half on the second leg. Blade centering is, I forgot to look. If it's not perfect, it's awful close. This is one of 50 ever made in this cover material, ever made. Um, I watch these when they come up on eBay, and guys, you can't buy one for what I'm going to tell you this one costs tonight. They generally do between $300 and $450. This one can be yours, $240, $240, and then $255 if you like it with my edge on it, which of course it should have. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's in your inventory as GEC Northfield. Number 74, Heartland Clip. Next up, it's another SFO. It is, it is, it is. From the Northfield Premium Pocket Knives a line of Great Eastern Cutlery. This, a model 771218, Yankee Barlow in Natural Linen Micarta. Special factory order of Mike Latham, CollectorKnives.net. It's a big Barlow. Yes, it is. This is, and these have come in several material combinations. Um, there have been some steel liners, nickel silver bolsters. There have been some nickel silver bolsters with brass liners. This one, all steel. Steel liners, steel bolsters. Main clip. Long match striker pull. Cut swedge. Satin, no etch. Unbelievable walk and talk. Secondary blades, a slim sheep's foot. Too long for me to call it a coping blade. Blade centering on the Yankee Barlow is beautiful. Condition is like new in the tube. Your price, 250 250 and 275 Both blades sharpened. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six knives purchased to be sharpened tonight. That's in your inventory as GEC Northfield number 77 Yankee Barlow. Next up, another one from Great Eastern Cutlery. This from the Titty line of celebrated pocket cutlery. It's a number 78 American Jack model 782117, an elderberry jig bone. I like this jig bone. If I wanted another Spear 78, I'd just keep it. Look at that gorgeous die job and jigging in that bone. Smooth nickel silver bolsters and end caps. Big, long spear point blade. Drawn swedge, nail neck, satin finish. Pull weight about seven and a half. Walk and talk. Beautiful. Centering is close, but might favor the right side ever so slightly. Condition on this one is going to be like new in the tube. Your price, 130 130 145 with an Apostle P edge. That's the GEC Titty number 78 American Jack. 
Next up, and our last offering from Great Eastern Cutlery tonight, and we're going to end it in style. This from the Northfield Premium Pocket Knives line from Great Eastern. It is oh, a number 852116EO in Bloodwood. So this is going to be the number 85 bullet end or teardrop jack special factory order by Mike Latham of CollectorKnives.net. Lined and pinched nickel silver bolsters, corset shield, easy open notch, long match striker pull and a cut swedge on the prettiest spear point blade ever put in a pocket knife. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh. The cool thing about this one, guys, it's a solid eight pull if you grab the match striker pull. Maybe a seven and a half if you grab it out at the end, which, you know, if you're gonna put the easy open notch in, give it a give it a, a strong pull. I'm saying, because you got some leverage there. Uh, perfect walk and talk. Centering is close, very close to perfect. Condition on this one is absolutely like new in the tube. Mm. And this sounds like a lot to me, but I did some pricing research, and it's not. Um, just try to find one for this. Good luck. Your price two fifty, two five zero, like it is two sixty five with an Apostle P edge. Next day sharpening available if it's one of the first six. That's the GEC Northfield number eighty five bullet and jack. Next up, time to transition to the modern folder portion of tonight's sale. We have a real beast from Zero Tolerance. It's a small one, but it's a beast. It's a ZT0450 Sinkovich in all titanium. Yes, it is. So we have a titanium show side scale. We have a titanium frame lock with steel insert. Kind of a longish clip to keep your fingers off that lock bar when you're opening the knife. It is, of course, a ball bearing flipper. Now you're going to notice something a little different about this 450. It's actually got that edge laid back a little bit, and it might be a little bit sharp. Yeah, I sharpened this one for this consigner when the knife was new. Just not a full finger choil, but a little choil extension just to keep that sink of itch flare to a minimum. <clears throat> you don't need blade underneath the handle anyway. Just saying. Condition on this is going to be near mint in box. Better than new because... It's got my edge on it. Uh, perfect walk and talk. Or not. See, I'm still in the traditional phase. Perfect action. Perfect lockup. Perfect centering, I think. Let's see. You do want to keep the fingers off the lock bar on this one. Because it will death lock on you if you're not careful. So near mint inbox. These are still available widely on the internet. Map pricing for a brand new one at your favorite web retailer is going to be $188. Or just buy this one. Better than new. $135 shipped. Priority mail. No need to sharpen. That's the ZT0450 All Tie TAP in your inventory. Next up, we have some more Dmitry Sinkovich work going on. This one's a real beast. This one's pretty special, guys. This is the big brother to the 450. It's the ZT0452. Check out this model number. CFM390BLU. Uh-huh. So on the show side, it looks like any other 452. Yep. But you flip it over, and you got blue anodized titanium. M390 blade steel. And this has had a very popular mod that I do a lot. This has got the full forward finger choil mod with my edge. There's your lockup with the steel insert. There is your perfect blade centering. 
nice flipping action. You're going to want to keep the finger off the lock bar on this one. Any pressure might tend to bury that ball in the detent hole. <clears throat> Just beautiful. Near mint inbox, sharpened and modded as noted. That's in your inventory as ZT0452CFM390BLU TAP. And this knife is unobtainium, guys. Couldn't even get a price reference. Um, there aren't too many out there, and they are not for sale. Your price on this one, 230 230 No need to sharpen. Next up. Uh-oh, we are going ZT old school. Yes, we are. The knife inside that old black box is a ZT0550BLK. Rick Hinderer design. One of the first two Hinderer designs ever done by ZT. And this knife doesn't really resemble any Hinderer, just like the 560 didn't. Just sort of uh, designed specifically by Rick for ZT. You got a G10 scale, some nice milling, good texture. A very fine bead blast on that titanium frame. Looks like it might have had a lanyard for a while. There's a little burnished spot in the back of the frame. Deep carry clip, so I think that makes it a Gen 2, but no insert, right? Serial number 0739. Black DLC coated blade. This is wearing my edge. It is extremely sharp. The blade steel is S35VN. Look at that, on washers. Yeah, on washers. Rock solid lockup, superb action. Perfect centering, awesome knife. Near mint, inbox. Long discontinued. Your price on this one, and it is a super example. 185, 185, that's in your inventory as ZT0550BLKTAP. No need to sharpen. Next up, you know, here's a knife model I don't even like much. I don't even like much, but I want this one. So please buy it, please, because I don't need to spend the money. It is a real beast from Zero Tolerance. Model number is 0770 CFM4. Are you kidding me? Yep, I remember having one of these in my hand when I was standing in the office with one Derek Bone several years ago. This was a knives ship free dealer exclusive. The carbon fiber 770 with the KVT. That's not KVT, it's speed safe. Spring assist. Speed safe. DLC coded CPM M4. That's right. When it, Derek loved to do those dealer exclusives with manufacturers. He'd always get carbon fiber and M4. Yeah. And this is one of them. Rock solid lockup, great action, of course. Centering down the middle. Oh, and if you didn't notice, it's got my edge on it. <laughs> and it's pretty aggressive. Just saying. So, like, well, not like new, near mint in box. The only reason it's not like new is because it has that beautiful edge on it. Um, again, Knife Ship Free's been out of stock on these for a long time. They were 224 when they were new. I couldn't find any secondary market references because people don't sell them. Your price on this one, 200 bucks with my edge. That's in your inventory as ZT0770CFM4TAP. Next up, our last ZT of the evening. We're going out with a bang. This one is another real beast. From the Rexford line of Zero Tolerance, it's a ZT0801BRZ. This is such a cool knife, guys. I would so own this if I were right-handed. but Because to me, the coolest design element of this knife is that five-hole rounded parallelogram thing going on. And if you if I move the clip for left-hand carry, I'd just lose all that. So I've never bought one, but I think it's beautiful. If I were right-handed, I would be all over this knife. And let's see. Blade steel on the 801. You guys are probably looking at it. I can't... M390. How about that? M390. Wearing an Apostle P edge. And did I do a good job? Yeah, I did a good job. 
Let's see, lock up on the steel insert is perfect, rock solid. Blade centering down the middle. Flipping action is beautiful. Condition is going to be near mint in box. Um, only reason not like new again would be my edge. Discontinued, out of stock. Nothing on eBay. Nothing. Not anything current listed. Not anything already sold. I have no idea, but I think 200 bucks is a pretty good buy, and that can be yours for 200 bucks. No need to sharpen. That's in your inventory as ZT0801BRZTAP. Next up, time for the Benchmade portion of tonight's sale. The first one is going to be a discontinued knife and a dealer exclusive. The 710-1401 Help me. Who did the blue? Who does the blue and black? You guys know. I forgot. Might be an extra clip in there. I hear something rattling around. Oh no! Nope, just a, a closure for the baggie. Here's the knife. Oh, that 3D machine blue and black G10. That polished split arrow clip. That gorgeous nearly four inch blade in. Bowler M390 and it's wearing an Apostle P edge and it's extinct. And it's a really nice edge too. I'm here to tell you. Rock solid lockup. Perfect action. Centering is down the middle. Uh, guys, if you don't own one of these and you're a Benchmade collector, you need to own one. So we're going to call it near mint in box just because of the edge. Uh, they are discontinued. They are out of stock. eBay completed listings all over 300 bucks. This one can be yours. 250. 250. No need to sharpen on the Benchmade 710-1401 TAP. Next up. I don't think I've ever had one of these in my hand before. From the Benchmade Knife Company, it is a 580-2 barrage. This would be the all G10 handle in gray. Very cool milling pattern. Of course, steel line. It is an axis assist with a spine safety. So if you employ the safety, you can't open it. Or close it. That Axis Assist is a thwacker on this knife. This is a first production run knife, 86 of 1,000. CPM S30V is your blade steel. Lockup is rock solid. Blade centering is right down the middle. And if you notice, it's got an Apostle P edge on it. Oh, that'd be the one you want, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is a currently in stock knife. You can buy one of these from your favorite web retailer at $178 map pricing. Or just buy this one. A perfect example with a, I don't like to say a perfect edge, but it's a pretty doggone good edge. 145, 145, no need to sharpen on the Benchmade 580 2 Barrage TAP. Next up. Now, see, I was just telling my buddy Peter. I just need to buy one of these next time that I get one in. I, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, have at her, boys. Benchmade Knife Company. we got a 940-2 Osborne. This is sort of the run-of-the-mill garden variety black G10 version of the 940. So if you want a 940 to use, you don't want to worry about getting your expensive handle all messed up, and you don't mind toxic green standoffs, here's your knife for a little less money than a green aluminum one. S30V blade like the aluminum one, an Apostle P edge, like all 940s should have, and it's first production run number 108 of 1,000. Deep carry clip, rock solid lockup. Nearly free dropping blade with perfect action. And the centering is Awful doggone good for a 940. 
it's ready to rock. It's as good as one as you can buy. Uh, let's see. I forgot to turn my card. Oh. Current map pricing on the 940-2 is 174 or just buy this one with 25 bucks and some postage of my sharpening work already on it for 150 150 shipped priority mail no need to sharpen that's the bench made 940-2 TAP next up did somebody say green 940 uh huh what we have here my friends from benchmade is a 940 BK Osborne I don't generally go in for coated blades but it looks so pretty on this knife oh. Your green hard anodized aluminum handle. Your Parkerized split arrow pocket clip. Your purple anodized titanium gear pattern backspacer. And then there's that. A hunk of S30V about 3 and 7 sixteenths inches long. Wearing an Apostle P edge, my friends. Rock solid lockup. Oh. Guillotine free drop in action. And... Uh, Perfect centering. Other than the edge, the knife is like new. We'll call it near mint in box. On the black cloak coated 940, if you want to buy a new one now, they're like $199.75 or something. 200 bucks. Or just buy this one. Already rocking an Apostle P edge. Shipped priority mail, $175. That's the bench made 940 BK TAP. Okay, you guys ready for some Spideys? By way of Maniago, we're going to start in this diminutive pouch. We have a Spyderco Lil Lion Spy. So, made by Lion Steel. And it's sort of a slightly modified SR series handle. Milled G10 show side scale, milled titanium frame and lock. Got the roto block. You got the deep carry reversible clip. You got the steel inserted frame lock. LMAX blade, beautifully finished on this particular example, and it's wearing an Apostle P edge. And it is scary. I'm here to tell you. There is your lock engagement, fairly early. There is your centering. What? <laughs> it's doggone perfect. In the action. On those nylon washers is pretty doggone nice that is as good an example of a little lion spy as i think you can find and it's already got my edge on it they're discontinued they're out of stock everywhere but one retailer i found one retailer that had them in stock for 251 dollars i think they're trying to trying to do a little cash grab this one can be yours with my edge shipped to you priority mail 210 210 that is the Spyderco Little Lion Spy TAP on the edge. Next up, oh, we got one of them little tiny boxes from Spyderco. Inside it resides what? A Chaparral 2. You guys know what that is? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's got that sort of argyle, faceted, milled titanium it's a subtle milling but when you look down the spine you can see it actually does change planes rather dramatically the blade steel of course is going to be cts xhp it's a mid-lock lockback from tai chung blade centering is close on this one lock up is rock solid uh, it's not really a flicker but the action is pretty good and then it's got that shiny polished edge from the Apostle P Knife Service. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We're going to call that near mint in box because of the edge. Um, again, a knife I had a hard time finding price references for. They're, of course, out of stock new. Your price on this one? 180 180 no need to sharpen. That's in your inventory as Spider Coast Chaparral 2 TAP. 
Next up, you talk about a knife that's hard to find. Oh my. From Spyderco, we have a Paramilitary 2 LMAX. And this is wearing Foliage Green G10. Just a very cool color. Polished clip. Blade is LMAX. This is a Bento Box exclusive. And man, I don't know how many they made, but... Uh, oh, and it is wearing an Apostle P. Edge. There are several of these on eBay completed listings around 300 bucks. This one, and by the way, lockup is rock solid. It's a free dropper, and the centering is beautiful. The only thing to make it not like new is that way better than factory edge. This one can be yours, and I don't think I found one for under 300 guys. This one can be yours for 270 270 That's the Spyderco Para 2. LMAX, FG for foliage green, TAP for the Avasa PH. Next up, it's another one from Spider Co. from Golden, Colorado, USA Earth. And it's a paramilitary 2 and crew wear. And I love this knife. Not only is it a crew wear dealer exclusive para 2, but it's got that smooth black G10, so you guys know what that means. Knife Center Exclusive. I love that smooth handle. I have a pair of three like this. Uh -huh. Guys, if you have not experienced crew wear as a user steel, you need to. It holds an edge almost as well as M4. It's tough, almost as tough as 3V. It's, a, it's an amazing steel. Easy to maintain. Let's see, lockup is rock solid. Blade is a free dropper. The centering is perfect. Condition on this one is like new in box. Um, factory edge. So your price on this one's gonna be 190, like it is, 210 with an apostle P edge. Next day sharpening is available if it's one of the first six. It's in your inventory as Spiderco Para 2 crew wear. Next up, this one has me salivating from Spider Co. Also from Golden, Colorado, we have a Manix 2 CF Crew Wear. What? Oh my. Oh my. I don't know. I don't know whose dealer exclusive this is. I just don't know. But look at that carbon fiber. Look at that crew wear and look at that Apostle P edge. Oh my. Let's see. Lockup is rock solid. Free drop in action. Perfect centering. How's the edge, by the way? Yeah, that's. The crew wear gets so sharp. Oh. So, yeah, Manix 2, crew wear, carbon fiber, Apostle P edge, discontinued, out of stock. Your price on that perfect example. Uh, that's not that. 190, guys. 190. No need to sharpen. That's in your inventory as Spider Co. Manix 2 Crew Wear CF TAP. My. And if you thought that was impressive, we have like a unicorn of a Manix 2 from Spider Co. Whoops, wrong end. It is a. Manix 2 CPM 4V PLM. That doesn't really tell us much. This knife was a dealer exclusive for a company called Freydon Lock. Look at that shred carbon fiber. And it feels a little chunkier than most Manixes. Why? Because they sort of went back to old school. They did that hollow saber on the CPM 4V blade. Let's see, lockup is rock solid. Blade is a free dropper. 
centering it is very close to perfect with a heavy blade it ought to flick out beautifully and it does condition on this one is going to be like new in box um, I think I saw some prices of these for sold knives that uh, they were ridiculous I I saw a sold knife on eBay that was $400, I think, on the nose. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't believe it's worth that. And we're just taking a stab in the dark here. 240, 240, 265 with an Apostle P edge. That's in your inventory as Spyderco Manix 24 VCF. Next up. Man, it seems like I'm having a lot of these moments tonight, but save me from myself boys i do not own a stretch and here we have a stretch in brown g10 not an frn knife brown g10 with full liners and my favorite stretch steel which is zdp 189 are you kidding me look at that beauty look at that beauty uh-huh polished clip thwackage uh -huh. Oh, by the way, it's already wearing my edge. All you'd have to do is switch the clip and throw it in my pocket. Somebody please save me from myself. Let's see. By the way, rock solid lockup. Nice action. Centering is perfect. Let's see. Is it a good flicker? Yeah, pretty good flicker. Um... <clears throat> They're out of stock everywhere except KnifeWorks. I think the old map price on these was 210. KnifeWorks has a couple left. They want 234. 234. 234. 234. Or just buy this one. Already wearing my edge. A perfect example. By the way, it's a stretch two by the model number. Uh, uh, 160, are you kidding me? Yeah, you better buy that one quick. Because of all the save me from myself knives tonight, this might be the one I need the most help with. Spyderco Stretch 2 ZDP BRN TAP 160. No need to sharpen. Next up. Holy moly. I remember when my consigner bought this new and sent it to me to sharpen. I opened it up and... Well, I'm not going to tell you my reaction because you're going to have the same one. This is a Hinderer, and it's a Gen 5-ish, I think. XM18, 3.5-inch spear point, Battle, Anthracite, and Black G10. And by the way, uh-huh. Um, I'm not a big coated blade person. I don't know what they did, but look at that. Look at that smoky gray, that anthracite coating, and the purple hardware. And oh, watch. Oh, Lordy. Get this out of here. Look at that anthracite coating. S35VM blade. Apostle P Edge. I don't think he ever used it. It's like a razor. Which is hard to do on a hinder because they're so wedgy. There's your lock engagement. There's your perfect centering. And this is on washers, guys. Nylon washers. Effortless flipping. And it doesn't death lock on the thumb studs. This is a righteous pre triway hinderer. I mean righteous. And it's not coming cheap because it... Uh, of all the pre triway XMs I've ever had in my hand, this is absolutely, not only is it mechanically the best one, but it's the coolest looking one. I mean, man. But it has the best mechanics of any pre triway XM I've ever had in my hand. Uh, your price? $375. $375. No need to sharpen. Next up. It's another one from Hinderer. This, an Eclipse Gen 2 Harpoon Spanto 
stone wash with blue and black G10. So yeah, there's your blue and black G10. There's your stone wash blade. But wait, but wait, wait. Bronze anode titanium frame with the American flag stencil. How about that? And yeah, there's your harpoon spanto. And there's your Apostle P Edge blade steel on this one. 20 CV. Um, it's really sharp. Uh -huh, there's your lock engagement. Rock solid. Blade centering down the middle. Flipping action, awesome. So condition will be near mint in box. Apostle P Edge noted. This one's in your inventory as Hinderer Eclipse TAP. Your price? 315. 315. No need to sharpen. Next up, we're going to try something a little different. You know, I've been telling you guys, I have a consigner who's moving across the country. Well, he lives in the western United States now. He's moving to the southeastern United States. So he's got some stuff that really isn't going to be, shall we say, in style where he's moving. This would be one of those things. This is in your inventory as Crumrine Rough Stock Buckle. So what we got here is a belt buckle, three and a quarter by four and a quarter inches, gold and silver electro plate. There's your label from Crumrine. Backed up on a gorgeous, beautifully tooled 38 inch, inch and three quarters wide, Lintone belt. Let's get that stuff off for you here. Uh -huh. Made in Oklahoma. Top grain saddle leather. 38 inches is going to be your waist size. There's your buckle. And guys, not only is the buckle very well made, but so is the belt. Um, I don't know what my consigner paid for this package brand new, but I guarantee you it wasn't 75 bucks. That's what you can buy it for. Near mint condition. Let's see if I can even discern whether it's ever been fastened. Does not look like it. Okay. So that's in your inventory as Crumrine Rough Stock Buckle, 75 bucks shipped priority mail. And the last item in tonight's sale, it's another belt buckle. Do we have any Coloradans in the audience tonight? Because check this out. Uh -huh. We have a belt buckle, and the manufacturer is kind of hard to discern, frankly, because all it says on the label is made in oklahoma quality buckles right so i don't know uh, gold and silver electro plate kind of a hefty chunk feels like it might be steel underneath and it's is that the seal of the state of colorado the great state of colorado centennial state beautifully made dimensions on this one are uh three and a sixteenth by four and a sixteenth and then a 38 inch black beautifully tooled belt and I think this one is by Resistall right? here's your info on the back of the belt inch and a half is your width and I don't think this one's even been worn either yeah this one might have been worn because I think there's an extra hole in the back But not very much. I don't see any really any buckle wear. So really cool. And again, I'm not you know I'm not an expert on Western style belt buckles, but a heavy buckle, gold and silver electro plate, a beautifully tooled, nice quality leather belt. Uh, what was it? 150, 200 bucks? You guys tell me. But you can buy this one shipped priority mail. Seventy five dollars, seventy five bucks, and that's in your inventory as Colorado buckle. Okay. And that brings us to the end of another knife and belt buckle sale on the Apostle P channel. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Happy Thanksgiving.
to you from my house to yours. May your thanks be given robustly and loudly and gratefully to the one true king, the great I am, God the Father, and his son, Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace, my friends. Remember, the word is sharp. Now commence to clicking.